I hear my friend and a guy that I think is such a visionary. I'm so delighted that he's here. Um, we have a special series that we're going on for the Real Estate Office of the Future, and we this is part two of a five-part series. We actually did an earlier hour, so this can kind of continuation. But one of the things that's so different with Rudy's model versus others is a whole team concept. We were talking during the break a little bit. Um, I've had my license since the early 2000s, and one of the things that's a question on the test is, you know, what does an agent have to do to pay a broker? And normally there is a fee, and any time you interview with a broker, right, they're like, oh, well, you know, you're gonna have to pay us $300 a month or 400, and that was called a desk cost. So in the old model, that was supposedly the cost of having a desk in their office and maybe access to the copier machine, or maybe their computers, that's all changed. That's kind of out the window. That's, the brokers are still kind of charging a desk cost, but nobody's really sitting at a desk in the office anymore, right? Yeah. In the old traditional model. And as we were saying earlier, you were saying, if you were to be doing anything to prospect or market, the agent has to do it by themselves. Mm -hmm. Almost always by themselves, whether it's door knocking or emailing. And marketing, I think, is one of the biggest expenses. Yeah. You were talking about that. Would you talk about that a little bit more, about what in the old model agents had to do in the market for buyers and sellers? Yeah, so what's going on in the industry today is that each real estate agent is basically on their own, Julie, and that's, that's my challenge. And you know my story because it, the whole model is started because out of my frustration doing what the traditional industry norms and standards with no results. Mm -hmm. So the way it's set up now is that each independent, each real estate agents do their own uh, prospecting, cold calling, servicing the clients. They are one, over 137 tasks that the real estate agents have to do. And you wow. juggle all these balls. So no matter how good you are, something is gonna drop. In fact, according to the National Association of Realtors, more than 70% of homeowners will not go back to the same real estate agents again. And the number one reason is because lack of communication. No kidding. Right? You know, what about the agents who say that I want to be your agent for life and I want to go through your upgrade and yeah. your kids and everything else? They don't, they don't keep in touch? Well, the challenge with our industry today, uh, Julie, is that every real estate agent have a good intent to serve the clients. Mm -hmm. However, it's, it's impossible. Everybody have 24 hours in a day, seven days a week. Mm -hmm. uh, you subtract the time you sleep, that's, you subtract the time that you have to eat and stuff like that. You literally, the most effective you can work is like, maybe 12 hours at the most, right? Mm -hmm. So how is it possible? So n numerically, it's impossible. So that's when the team system is set up, where when we talk about the team system, we are talking about each individual person in that team has a specific role in the transaction, so you do what you do best. Now, do you just have one team, Rudy, or do your agents each have a team, or do you have certain people that have teams and others are team members? How does that work? Really? Yeah, so here at Your Home Soul Guaranteed Realty, our company focus on helping real estate agents to grow and develop their own team. And succeed. Right, right. and <laughs> that's based on my experience uh, back in 2007, 2008, growing my own team. Mm -hmm. So when I grow my own team, uh, so what do you do? So my, uh, my team, my team New Vision that we've been built in since 2007, every month, uh, we, we sold about 600 homes. And we, for multiple months, multiple years in a row, we've been ranked as the number one team in, within the REMAX system. And so now, what do you do when you, what do you do when you hit the top of the mountain? <laughs> well, I agree. <laughs> Zig Ziglar said, you help many people, as many people as you can, to hit the top of the mountain. So that's when the, the real estate office, we call it the real estate office of the future because we'll be the only real estate company that focus on helping real estate agents to grow and develop their own team and that's based on existing experience. And this is not ideas or, uh, you know, like speculation. You know, this is things that my team now doing it. So we'll be building the team alongside with me throughout California. So it's not just helping the homeowners or the home buyers to get what they want in order to succeed. It's actually helping the people who work for you to work more with you, huh? Uh, yes. Kind of a first day? yes, and think about it. The only way the team model works if you add value to the transaction. So if, if it doesn't benefit the home, the consumers, mm -hmm. then the team model is not going to work. So for example, within our team model, within our company, we teach real estate agents to every day show homes to the buyers, homes that they cannot see online. Now think about it. It sounds simple, but the traditional model now uh, when, when the buyers looking to buy homes, they, all the agents do, they're emailing homes to the buyers, 
homes that the buyers already seen online. Yeah, sure. I can go out and I can look at properties on Zillow or I can look at on Guest MLS or I can see, yeah. you know, or, or I can go to somebody's website, some yes. agent's website, say I'm interested in the house. And next thing you know, I'm bombarded. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Pictures and emails. Yes. I'm sure a lot of other people who are listening have had that experience. Yes. But and they're not showing me anything that's different from what Jane Smith is showing me and yes. John Stevens is showing me. You know, it doesn't yes. matter. They're all the same things, the houses that are yes. for sale. Yes, all the agents are doing the same thing. That's what the industry norms and standards are trying mm -hmm. to do. They're trying to put everybody doing the same thing. The problem when you do the same thing like everybody else, then now mm -hmm. you become a commodity. Once you become a commodity, what happened with your income? That's why in the past decade, there's a decline in real estate agent's income because now the job of a real estate agent uh, has been slowly been replacing by machine. And so what we teach here in our company at Your Home Soul Guaranteed Realty is how are you being different and exclusive in, in, uh, in the age of information age technology? So instead of fighting the technology, how you embrace technology and be successful? So tell us, Rudy, how are you doing that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the, the, the only re the reason, Julie, we, we, we can show homes every day, homes that they cannot see online, is because we teach our real estate agent on how to set, negotiate, and collect your own fees. Right now, the way the real estate agents is set up, they get paid through what's called the multiple listing service. That means if the house is not listed on the multiple listing service, like in the case of for sale by owners, Zillow coming soon, mm -hmm. uh, homes that previously listed, bank foreclosure, new homes, new construction. Those homes, real estate agents are not, they're, they're less likely to show because they don't know how to get paid. Because right now, it, when That's you're looking point. to buy homes, right? Mm -hmm. When you're looking to buy homes, you go to a real estate agent and the agents tell you, Julie, I'm gonna help you for free. Think about it. Do you think the agents really work <laughs> for free? Right, there's no one work for free. The only reason you think the agent work for free because they get compensated from the seller side. Now, think if about they're able to if they're bring able to a buyer, qualified buyer to correct, buy a home. Correct. So if the home is not on the MLS, so now that would be the challenge. Now think about it on the flip side. Imagine if you are thinking of selling your home. Imagine what if you are thinking of selling your home and how would you feel uh, if the income, the money that you pay your real estate agents to get your home sold, they are giving it away to the other agents, we call it the opposing counsel, and they use it to negotiate against you. And that's basically the industry norms and standard. The owner of the house hire the real estate agents to get the home sold. But instead of taking full responsibility to get the home sold, what this agent do, the, the industry norms and standard, put it on the multiple listing service and give half of your income and you abdicate the responsibility of getting the home sold to some random Agents well, that's that's on the MLS. taught that they need to put it on there and expose it to the largest number of agents and buyers possible, right? Correct. And that that is part of the work. That's what they will argue. That's what the regular real estate agents will say they're doing Correct. and the marketing. But that's a really interesting way of looking at it and saying that you're actually kind of looking for opposing counsel. Certainly in the case of bankruptcies or probate, right, you're going to be talking to attorneys more, or you need to, right, rather than other agents because those are not on the MLS. Yes. Find them. Yes. Yes. And then you're doing work, right? Right. And now, if you if you're thinking of selling your home today in 2019, 2020, the moment you put your home on on the internet on a multiple listing service, it gets syndicated to over 15,000 websites. Here we are in Los Angeles within CRMLS, it gets syndicated to 15,000 websites. So the buyers, the end users, Julie, already found your home online. So they've and done the work for um, by themselves. Yes, they found the home online. How many times you go to an open house and the buyer's agent come to an open house and ask, hey, have you met my buyer's Bobby? The, a, the buyer's agent haven't even met with their own buyers because it's not their buyers. The buyers found the home online because technology become advanced and the buyers <laughs> click some button online and they met. And that's what's going on. And if, if they actually been working with an agent, then they call their, their person and they say, hey, I'd like to see this house. Yes. Even if they don't know if it's an open house, right? Yes. So that's when the buyer's agent might get involved. Yes. An exclusive. They, exclusive. They want to yes. be an exclusive yes. buyer's agent. So yes. here at Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty, actually, uh, what we teach our real estate agents to do, we build a database. So for example, in, in our team now, we have about 52,000 buyers who's looking to buy homes in the area. So the moment the owner of the house hire us to get their home sold, instead of 
abdicating the responsibility of getting the home sold. We take full responsibility. We call all the buyers in our database. We bring it into a very short period of time. In mm-hmm. a 15 minutes window of time, we bring in all the buyers, creating multiple offers, getting the home sold within the first week or two. Now, how, many, how long did it take you to get 52,000 qualified buyers? And are these cash buyers, finance buyers, a combination of both? And that's, buyers. that's really good. So, now, uh, so the way our team system is set up, it starts with our marketing team. Our marketing team bring in all the leads, all the buyers coming in. We have about mm-hmm. 2,000 calling in every single month. 2,000 people? 2,000 buy, buyers, buyers correct. Either, wow. So because we are on the radio, we are on billboards, we are on direct mail, we are on all the digital, ma- digital marketing. Our marketing budget is about 200,000 uh, a month to bring in over 2,000 buyers coming in. And that's your company budget, right? So it's yes. not like an individual agent, like other people used to be, having to pay all their own marketing to get their website and to do their own advertising and Correct. to do their flyers. And yes. Do. So you do all that. Yes. So the company, the company uh, we, we, we do all that. And then the second department is our admin staff team. Our ad- admin staff team input those incoming calls into our database. And okay. then our inside sales team, we have nine full-time inside sales team working seven days a week from 8 in the morning till 9 p.m., who call back all those buyers inquiry and check the timing motivation, make sure these are qualified buyers, and then they book the appointments to our outside sales buyers agent. We have 50 full-time outside sales buyers agent every day, their job is to show homes. So when the owner of the house, so when the owner of the house hire us to get their home sold, all we need to do, we bring in all the buyers that's on the road right now showing homes. Mm-hmm. These are not leads. These are buyers that's on the road with one of my uh, 50 outside buyers agents looking to buy homes in the area. So all we do, we bring in all the buyers, get the home sold within the first couple of minutes. So that's the, that's the team system. So when we talk about, when you ask the question about, is it cash buyers? Yes, because when the first thing we do when we meet with our outside sales buyers agent, mm-hmm. part of our system is to get them what we call a full loan underwriter's approval. Because... So if you're the you buyer, right? you yes. want them to be able to pull the trigger right away if they like it. Correct, because these are exclusive. These, these are exclusive homes. The homes that we show to our buyers, these are not just some random homes that the buyers can see online. These are exclusive homes that's not available anywhere else. And part of the deal with the owner of the house is that we only bring you homes. We only bring you buyers that qualify. So if you want to have access to homes, homes that you cannot see online, the first step. We need to do, we can make sure that you fully, we call it full underwriter, uh, full underwriter's loan approval. Mm-hmm. So in our system, in less than two hours, when, if you are the buyers, we put your information into our website. Once you complete the W-2 based up tax return, within two hours, that document goes straight to un- un- underwriters. Well, you know, it usually takes maybe a little bit longer than that. Yeah. <laughs> if, you, if, you have, if you have somebody motivated to do that. So do you have a mortgage person who's on, the, each, on your team too, or do you work with different people? We work with the wholesalers now that we actually cut out. the. We have no loan officers. We have no, uh, we know the uh, processor. So once we mm-hmm. upload the documents, it goes straight to the underwriters. That's how we are able to get it in a short, uh, short period of time. That's pretty amazing. We're going to talk a little bit more about that when we come back and about the whole process and stuff. You're listening to Julie Talks Money. I'm Julie Phelan here with Rudy Kasuma. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. <laughs> wow, it's <laughs> go, go into the detail of the, the difference between um, a, uh, um, the, okay, three, the three different... Uh, Mortgage approvals. One wait, wait, wait. The three mortgage approvals. Three or three? Are you three, the three. Three. Remember, okay. the one he's talking about is the same as cash, mm-hmm. but there's two other ones too. Right? This is a, a pre qual letter, and then what's the other one? The pre approval uh, letter. Huh? A pre approval letter. Pre approval, pre qual, and, and then, then the full loan under it. The full loan under it. I think that needs to be cleared up because everybody's going to say, well, yeah, we got yeah. a uh, pre approval letter, so. Yeah, is that which means are? that it's print pre underwritten. It looks like right. it's not a full underwritten. Yeah, this is same as cash, as mm-hmm. opposed to the others. Is it's a guesstimate. Yes. Yeah. So. So the team system, the one that I was talking about. Mm-hmm. So the comp, what the company does, we are duplicating that team system to all the other agents. If you want to build their own team. Okay. Now we talked a little bit about not having people work twenty hours a day or twelve hours a day, but you just said that you have people working. <laughs> Oh, because <laughs> those are the, hour day. So you have different people correct. doing different times, yes. right? Yes. Because you believe in family and flexibility, correct. and I correct. want to bring that up too. Those are 
uh, so we have three uh, three shift uh, two two different shift mm -hmm. yes my, from eight to two and then because we work seven I mean the office looks like running seven days a week right but we have to but it's not the same people. people yes not yeah. the same people okay. I want to make that clear so other people don't think, oh, yeah. it was no different from what he was talking about. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, from the client's perspective. Because I think that's a huge difference for you, too. You know? Yeah, we run it on the system. The, the model, the traditional model now is dependent on one agent. Mm -hmm. The way we set it up, it dependent on this, it's a system dependent. Of course, system is run by people. Mm -hmm. But what we are selling at your home sold guaranteed realty is a, is a system. Right. Yeah. But you also have continuity, too. So if somebody can't get hold of their agent Correct. or the assistant, there's still somebody there who's that's aware the, of what's yes. going on. And I want to highlight that yes, too. Yes, that's why the system is important. Because I think that's important. a big issue yeah. with regular agents and other things and teams. Yeah. And maybe you have a transaction coordinator, but an agent typically has to pay that yeah. person. Right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's the problem. It's basically lack of communication. Welcome back. This is Julie Phelan, your host, and Julie Talks Money, and thanks so much for listening. Uh, we talk about money issues, real estate, investments each week, and this week we're talking with Rudy Kusuma of Your Home Sold Guaranteed, and he, we're talking about the real estate office of the future, uh, the differences in the models of the uh, old-fashioned, I should say, or, you know, what's still prevalent probably in the industry, a way of doing real estate, and the way that Rudy is doing it. We were just talking when we went to the break about the team concept and you also had mentioned that you have your office open seven days a week and people can work seven days a week from eight in the morning until nine at night. But that's not the same people, right? These are different people because you told me and I believe and I've seen that you're a little more family friendly and flexible. <laughs> yeah, so the way we, uh, when we talk about our team model, Julie, at the Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty, it's a system dependent and the system is run by people. So when we talk about our office open seven days a week from eight in the morning till 9 p.m., uh, those are run by different shifts. So we have three different shifts between that covers that seven days a week from eight mm -hmm. to nine. But from the client's perspective, because the clients, you made the clients, this is their biggest investment in their life. Sure. And so, they want attention yes. you know, when they want attention. Yes. So when the clients need attention, remember, we are here to serve the clients. Mm -hmm. So when the clients want it now, we make sure it's available seven days a week. Right? Okay. So, so there's continuity. So if I call you... And I say, well, you know, I wanted to talk to Rudy. He's my agent. And, well, Rudy's not available right now, or he's in a client meeting, or he's something. And it's like, well, who can I talk to? There's always going to be somebody to talk to, right, who is going to be familiar with me or with my issue or the house. Yes. Our customer service managers who run, that, and that's run two different shifts between the seven days a week. Mm -hmm. The reason everybody in our team knows uh, on the same page is kind of like when you go to a hospital. When you go to a hospital, there is a system. So here in our company, we call it the CRM, client, uh, customer relationship, CRM, right, the database. Mm -hmm. So on the database is every single interaction, we put it into a database. So whoever touched this client will be on the database. So the next shift, the next person who's running it, or, or if you call in the office, uh, we know uh, what's going on with your transaction. Remember, there's multiple people within different departments who's handling the sale of a home. And you just mentioned customer service management. I think that that's huge because, as I mentioned, you know, in the beginning part, customer service is one of those things that I feel we need more of and we're getting less of all the time. So how does that work? Oh, yeah. Here in our, at, at your home sold guaranteed realty, the measurement of success. The measurement of success for each individual team member, regardless if you are in sales, you are in admin, you are in accounting, or whatever you are, the way we measure your success, we call it the three R's. So the three R's, we call it the number of five-star reviews. So you're working for the reviews. So here in our okay. team, Julie, we talk about uh, imagine uh, money. Uh, you imagine what if you pay your bills every day? You pay your bills, you pay your kids' college tuition, you pay for the food that you're gonna eat. You pay everything not with money, but instead you pay with the currency. The measurement of success is the number of five-star reviews, mm -hmm. the number of repeat business, and the number of referrals. So that's, that's the basis of our customer service. Uh, so, when, so how do we know somebody in our uh, team is doing an excellent job or somebody, uh, how do we base our bonus system, our promotion or stuff like that? It's based on how many five-star reviews that you earn mm -hmm. this month, this year. How many repeat business? How many repeat clients? Because we learned it from Walt, uh, Walt Disney said best, he said, uh, do what you do so good that they come back over and over and over again and bring all their family and friends. Right? Do what you do so good. What does it mean? 
That means we gotta actually, we call about the second mile surface. The first mile is getting the home sold, but what is the second mile is the experience. We are working for the five star experience. But that also goes to your team thing too, where like we were talking earlier, in the past, real estate agents have to do everything. They have yeah. to be the buyer's agent, seller's agent, transaction coordinator, customer service yes. person. And now you've got different people within those teams, each one playing to their strength, right? Yeah. So somebody who is really good at talking to people who are looking to sell their home is going to be doing that. And yes. somebody else who's really good working with the buyers and the mortgages and all the other things that have to go with that is going to be specializing more in yes. that, right? And yeah. not, people are not having to do everything. Yes. Everybody's yes. doing everything. That doesn't get anybody anywhere. <laughs> so it's the system that makes it the five-star experience. And, of course, Henry Ford said that, you know, systems are what makes things succeed. And it wasn't until he invented pretty much the assembly line that the car business exploded because he created a system, right, that could be duplicated. Yes. And it was done over and over and yes. over. That's what systems are. Yes. Systems is basically how can you do so good without your involvement? Right, Amazon, Henry for Amazon now is like a master of it, right? You like right now we are here in the studio, we can order something online and within a couple of hours they will drop ship in right in front of the home. Right? So it's that scary. that that's what we are talking about, customer service. Mm -hmm. And the only and they mastered way, that system. Yes. Because it's system dependent. See the traditional real estate model, they're trying to compete with technology as an individual. Not because um, the not the individual is not good, it's just it's humanly impossible for one person to, to do all this. That's why we departmentalize. That's why now at your home sold guaranteed realty, we teach real estate agents. When we talk about building a team, we are talking about each individual person within that team has a specific role. So that way the clients, at the end of the day, it has to be beneficial for the client because if it doesn't beneficial for the clients, then obviously it's not gonna work. Right, unless yes. you're the seller and the buyer. And we were talking about mortgages a little bit in the past too, and that's one of the things I think where also, you, you have a key difference, because you mentioned before that in two hours it's gonna be fully underwritten. You know, most people that go to a broker, the agent that they're working with says, well, you first have to, you have to go get a, a pre-approval letter. Yeah. And a pre-approval doesn't really mean much. It doesn't have much strength to it, right? But you get a pre-qual letter, a pre-qualification. That means that they've at least looked at some of your financial stuff. And it's like, if all this stuff is true, really, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then, then you know, we, you could be qualified, but it's not being like underwritten and saying, yes, you can purchase it. Yeah. So you were saying that you don't do those two things, right? You go straight to underwriting? Yeah, so now, this is happening like right now live, Julie, that we actually develop an app that once we upload that documents, that app goes straight to the underwriters. We mm -hmm. bypass the loan officers, we bypass even the processors. So we have one dedicated underwriters that just, just look at those files. So that's, that's the yeah, speed. Must be pretty busy. <laughs> speed is of the essence, you know, in today's information age, when we talk about customer service, speed, time is your enemy. Most, uh, because the longer we take this, then that's why we lose. Now, that's just the beginning. Now, let's talk about ecosystem. When we talk about okay. customer service, think about it, the clients, you bought a home today, uh, refinance the home three years from now, mm -hmm. most real estate agents are not able to deliver the service because that customers, once they bought a home with ABC loan company, most likely that's gonna be sold. Once it's being sold, that loan, right. that's gonna be right. sold to somebody else, somebody else, and then right now, more and more mortgage company, they open up their own real estate companies. So that clients that you work hard for, it's gone. Yeah, oh, that's a huge change that they've made in the industry in the yes. last year. It used to be you could either do mortgages or you could sell real estate Correct. with your license. Yeah. And now you can do both, yes. right? So that kind of works. Well, some people are going to say that it is beneficial because then they can get both sides. But it really makes, in my opinion, it thins out the value of somebody. Because if now they're trying to do the mortgage and they're trying to do the real estate as opposed to having it be two separate things, then you're not servicing the client the best. Yes, so the real estate agents, the traditional model now, they're just puzzled, they don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. So here, when we, when we talk about the real estate office of the future, we are talking about how can you best service the clients. We are talking about creating an ecosystem that we can serve the clients for life. And when we talk about that, I'm talking about the database where the mortgage company and the real estate company is actually one, and, but it's from the company level. It cannot be done at the individual level, it's just right. too much. So the way we are setting up now is that imagine if you're our client, you actually receive, because we work direct with the wholesale, you actually receive, and we are the servicing, the wholesale is the servicing company, mm -hmm. our clients receive every month the mortgage statements with your home sold guaranteed realty more, uh, logo on it. 
Oh, because we are the self-facing company. High, and first in mind, right? Top of mind, that's what right. you say. You want to be it's top a mortgage mind. statement mm -hmm. because they sell it to somebody else. So the, the wholesale that we work with now is basically we are the surfacing company. So we, we keep you in love. So now we know uh, if you need to refi refinance, if, you need to, if there's uh, anything about uh, your real estate needs, it's literally under our database. So it's the okay. data. Now, what if I'm one of the people that's in your database and I'm one of the people that, that is, uh, you know, talked to you about being a buyer. I was pre-approved four years ago or two years ago, let's say two years, because that's more likely it might be that for buying a house or I'm really, really ready to be in the market. How do you make sure that these people are continuously approved? Do they have to resubmit financials every year or you know, is it just based on when there's a property that you call them about that they might be interested and they're like, yeah, hey, yeah, I am. Yeah, if it's already within our database, we are, we, it's, once it's already fully underwritten, all we need to do, we just have to find the homes, right? And that's mm -hmm. why the real estate agent in our company, every day we look at homes. But that that's only good, you know, an, an approval is only good for a certain amount of time. Yes, we need to, uh, once it's expired, uh, because, because it's all within the same umbrella now, mm -hmm. all we need to do, we just have our underwriters take a look at it. Again, it takes two hours mm -hmm. just to make sure that all the documents that you submit a couple of years ago, it's still... So your good. system creates efficiencies also. Yes, Sounds the clients like. now, is they're looking for the experience. They're looking for no hassle experience. That means now, when, when the owner of the house, when you're thinking of selling your home, instead of the traditional way, opening up your home for hours and hours and hours, putting an open house, and one by one asking you to clean your home, the way we set it up now, in a very short period of time, getting it sold with multiple cash offers, sold yeah. as is. Now, what do you think is going to be happening with the market now? Because we're already starting to see a little bit of a change, a little bit of a shift. And maybe some of the cash offers are not going to be there that much in the future. Or the traditional model? The multiple, multiple offers. What do you think is happening? What's going to happen? Yes, the traditional model now is really hurting because now it's getting slow. They're talking about because there's so many more homes that's available for sale in the market. Mm -hmm. But today in our system now, in fact, right after this, we're going to go to one of our tour of homes every saturday and sunday if we follow our system uh, multiple offers uh, within 15 minutes window of time we literally have 50 cash buyers coming in happening right now today uh saturday oh and of course the way you're talking about it with the mortgage those people are essentially cash buyers right because it's all ready to go it's all set and ready you know they're not necessarily going to be opening escrow and giving you cash in 10 days but it could be 15 days yeah days literally days. once we get full loan underwriters approval we close escrow in 12 days that's pretty amazing. All right, we're going to talk a little bit more about that. We're going to take a little bit of a break here. So glad that you're here. This is Julie Talks Money on KCAA 1050 AM radio, 102.3 FM. Stick with us. We'll be right back with more fascinating conversation on real estate. <laughs> or some way. <laughs> <laughs> now, what I want to do... Usually when the music's gone, it's not. Yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. Remember, when there's a mic, you always got to pretend it's live. Hmm? <clears throat> when there's a mic, you always got to pretend it's live. Yeah. <laughs> right? Lesson number one. Mm -hmm. Just like the camera's always on. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so that's the team system. Mm -hmm. Let's get down. Okay. Uh, I want to bring up and talk about the guarantee. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Because I think that that's going to be really big in yeah. the yes. future, in the next few months, when yeah. we have this uncertainty. Yes. Yes. Right yes. Stuff. That's good. And so the guaranteed for the homeowners who's thinking of selling their home, mm -hmm. as well as the guaranteed for the real estate agents, because we guaranteed the real estate agents to make an extra 100000 in the next 12 months. Mm -hmm. Or we'll pay the difference. Right? Well, that'd be something else to talk about. To follow us. Yeah. Then I'm going to something. As I didn't know if you wanted me to talk too much about that and we guarantee that because yeah. that would be a great thing for recruiting but that would put you on the spot for having to pay out more money too so. <laughs> that's fine we have uh, okay well then okay and you have a value proposition we're going to be talking about that too a little bit yes unique selling proposition yeah let's talk about that what's the difference mm -hmm. right and also your home sold guarantee what the, the, Guarantee. It's called unique selling proposition. Why should I do business with you over and above somebody else? Mm -hmm. Or I don't need to do anything at all? Absolutely. I'm ready to talk about that too. Yes, that's a unique selling proposition. 
most real estate agents there, there is no unique selling proposition hire me because I'm the nice mm-hmm. guy mm-hmm. Right? because that's a no like and trust thing right? yeah it's not scalable the business you know, is not I've scalable I've also found that you know that's not always true I know people who will do business with people that they that they know and that they trust but they don't necessarily like them yeah and they just think they'll give them the better Correct. you know so that that model's right. kind of gone too and the, the, the trust is different level right because I may trust you with my kids to take care of my kids but I may not trust you professionally Thanks for being with us. I'm here with Rudy Kazuma from Your Home Sold Guarantee. We were talking about the real estate office of the future. Now, you know, even when I was driving out here and when I'm in my car and I listen to radio, you hear a lot of different ads these days, and they pop up on my phone also, <laughs> we're talking about, or emails and stuff. Of, oh, you don't need to pay a commission, or we're going to be your best deal, and all you have to do is pay 2% or 1% or 3%. And these companies are trying to upend the whole business model and say that they're the real estate office of the future. I personally disagree, but I want to know why it is that you think that you should get more than 2% if you are working for a seller. Because uh, that, that's a big question in people's minds right now. So here at your home sold guaranteed realty, Julie, uh, and or in business in general, price is only a factor in the absence of value. Uh, price is that, uh, price. So in business, it's a general business principle. Uh, price is only a factor in the absence of value. And you can see in any businesses, not in real estate only, but in any businesses, the cheapest guy usually tend to not last uh, mm-hmm. a lot of out of business. So when we talk about being the cheapest, uh, the lowest model, of course I agree with them. I agree, Julie, because if all these companies do is put it into the MLS and they charge one or two percent, I 100% agree because there's no value in just putting into the MLS. If all you do, if you as a traditional real estate agent, if all you do just putting a listing, put it on the MLS, putting a for sale sign, you only worth no more than two percent. Just kind well, of like what you're talking about. And the other about. thing too, I was thinking about that because you know I always do math in my head because yeah. <laughs> I just can't help it. Let's say you've got a three hundred thousand dollar home, yeah. and somebody says that they're only going to charge you two yeah. percent to sell it. Yeah. That's, they're, they're working for $6,000. Yes. And how much are they really going to expect them to work over 30 days or 40 days or whatever with all the marketing they have to do and the signs for just $6,000? That's right. That's why the traditional agent now, if all you do as a traditional agent, put a for sale sign on the MLS and put in the MLS, you're worth not much. So here at your home sold guaranteed realty at the real estate office of the future, we teach real estate agents to make sure when the owner of the house, the reason the owner of the house hire our team is not to just put a for sale sign and put it on the MLS. Our job is to make sure that home sold with multiple offers in your time with no hassle. So that's how we are able to, the reason we are able to get the home sold in uh, less than a week, in 15 minutes actually with multiple offers because we build the database of buyers who's looking to buy homes in the area. So when you are hiring me, Julie, to sell your home, you are not paying me to put a for sale sign and on the MLS. You are paying the entire database, the whole system model where each individual person, so before you hire me, before the owner of the house hire me to get your home sold, I already have the buyers looking to buy homes in your area. Oh, so I'm not gonna pay you to open my house to strangers to shop. <laughs> right? right? That's basically what's happening now in the industry. Mm-hmm. And it is. So tell us, when you say your home sold guaranteed, what the heck does that mean? It means that your home sold. Okay, so the problem in real estate is everything begins with a problem. The problem in real estate industry today, there is no accountability for the real estate agents. Mm-hmm. The real estate agents do whatever they want. The consumers suffer because if the agents fail to do what they say they're going to do, basically the agent just say, oops, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, the agent doesn't get any money from it, you yes. know, so they're <laughs> suffering anyway. There's, so the way we set it up with your home sold guaranteed realty is that we hold the real estate agents being accountable. So for example, uh, your home, the biggest guarantee, we have many guarantees, but the biggest one is your home sold guaranteed or I'll buy. So the way it works is that I'm a marketing company. So imagine, Julie, you hire me to sell your home. Do you know that 80%, 80% of the buyers now who's thinking of buying your home, they actually have a house. They're living somewhere now. They're not like homeless, right? So 80% of the buyers have a house. They're living somewhere. They're thinking of moving. The traditional model that they put a for sale sign in front of the house, it only captures less than 20% of the buyers that's ready, willing, approved to buy now. 
Well, but then the others are going to be looking on the MLS or whatever that they're seeing online, right? Yeah. So how many, that's another 20% maybe? Right, 30%. right. So now, imagine this. What if, do you, think you, you, do you think you can get more buyers if you tell all the buyers, hey, buyers, if you buy my house, if you buy my house, I'm going to put an offer on your home. So what that, do you mean? Your home that you're living in right now? Yeah, so let's say you are thinking, let's say Julie, uh, you are thinking of selling your home. So I tell all the buyers, hey, buyers, if you buy Julie's house here, I'm going to put an offer on your home. So when we say your home sold guarantee, I'll buy it. I'm talking to all these potential buyers to drive traffic to your home. So the whole idea is to create more demand on the buyers to your home. But what, if, what are you saying? What are you guaranteeing to me? If I want to sell my house, what are you guaranteeing to me that you're going to sell my house or, and, and is guaranteed? What does that mean? So now for the homeowners, the, like for the homeowner who's thinking of selling their home, mm-hmm. we, uh, there's a different guarantees that talk about if we don't sell your home in 30 days, for example, okay. we'll pay you $5,000. That's one example. Another one will be if I don't sell your home in, uh, if I don't sell your home at 500000 we'll pay the difference as far as the price. As far as price, you mean of what somebody else offered? Correct. Correct. So you will buy my house. If it doesn't sell within, let's say, 30 days, 40 days, whatever the agreement is, at a certain price that I want or that we agree on? That we have to agree on. Correct. So, yes, we have to agree on. Uh, We uh, we both have to agree on. Typically, it's about 95% of the fair market value. And remember, because I am not a wholesaler. The way it works is that I'm a marketing company. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm a marketing company, and my job is to sell my clients home. So that was one of the things that the huge difference. You are not necessarily a real estate company; you're a marketing company. We are marketing. Is company. that what you think that the real estate office of the future has to be considered more in the future? That we're going that way, that direction. Yes. What business are we on? We are in a marketing business. Mm-hmm. Um, the whole technology company that that's dominating the industry now have nothing to do with real estate. They're mm-hmm. good at marketing. They're a marketing company, and uh, real estate is just one of them. Well, real estate is kind of a commodity. You know, if you think about going into a grocery store, you expect that somebody's going to have the shelf stocked, right? Yeah. And if you open a grocery store and you have all the things and the products that people want, then you advertise and you get the customers who come in and then they buy the stuff that you want because you've got it right yeah. there, right? Yeah. So nobody's having to go from store to store to store. Like, they just go to you, which is the marketing company or the grocery store, right? You've got the products and then you've got customers to buy those products. Yes. And retail. And you're not having to, you know, they're not going to go to the person who's got the truck outside with free delays saying, I'm, I'm delivering a thousand bags of chips, right? Okay. Yes. And that's, uh, that's, the, that's the skill that real estate agents in the future, like now, when we talk about the future, the future is now, it's has true. to master, which is you cannot just emailing homes to the consumers, homes that they can see online. Because if that's all you do, if in general is this, if you, if whatever you do, if the machine can do what you do, then you will be replaced. And you can see it now in fast food, you can see it now in banking, right? In the past, you go to a mm-hmm. bank, there's all these tellers, but if whatever you do, if the machine can do what you do, you'll be replaced. Now, that doesn't mean the industry is gonna collapse. All it means is that now real estate agents just have to focus on how can you add value to the transaction that the machine cannot do. That means we're talking about humanity, you talk about, you have to, you talk about teamwork, you have to talk about caring, Focusing on the client's heart's desires. Focusing on what's the buyer's vision or the seller's vision. Why are you buying or selling a home? Mm-hmm. Once I figure out why you are thinking of making a move, then my job now every day is focus on fulfilling that vision. But if I'm just an order taker, if the buyer just tell me, give me a three bedroom, two bath, if that's all I do, emailing homes that the buyers tell me, that's an order taker. The order taker will be, will be eliminated. In the future. Now, do you guys do much with dual agency? With the buyer and the seller being the same agent? Or do you do it within teams or within your office? And I know you said before that you have, um, a, you know, let's say agents who are sharing, not sharing, sharing, but saying, hey, I've got this overflow, can you help me? So it's not competing with one another. They're helping each other, right? And working with each other. Yeah. But do you have people who are representing both sellers and buyers yes. at the same time? Or do you do that with separate people? Separate with separate people, people, separate team members. Yes, so each individual uh, team members represent either the buyers or the sellers. Right and now, based on their, their role and their specialization? Correct, because we book them the appointments, mm-hmm. right? So we book them the appointments, but as an office, we, we double in less than 15% of the transaction last year. 
Well, I personally think that that's really good because I've seen a whole lot of people that, you know, they have somebody that's doing dual agency. They're not really serving either person. They're serving themselves. Yeah. You know, they're not getting the best price for the seller and they're not getting the lowest price or the best deal for the buyer. They're just like, well, this person I know, this person will take lower and this person, oh, I think you can make an offer at low and it doesn't serve anybody. Yeah. I think so. I think it's really good that you have it two separate people. Yes, and that's why uh, to, to, to maximize the purchase of a home, the whole idea, you have to have multiple offers because if you don't have multiple offers, that's really bad. That's why this, uh, the, the whole game, the whole focus at our company is how to create multiple offers in a very short period of time, 15 minutes. And when you come to our package, uh, our tour of homes, we call it, mm -hmm. we actually have a package where not only we create multiple offers, but we give you all the seller, disclos seller disclosure up front so the buyers are less likely to uh, fall out of escrow. And that's really unusual too. It, it's just amazing. So you have people who come to your office or you go, you still go to a traditional listing appointment sometimes if, or you have the sales agents who would do that. Yes, that. and we don't do a and listing then, agent. We, the whole idea when we go to appointments with the owner of the house is to show the owner of the house how we are able to create multiple offer within 15 minutes. Because the whole idea on listing now, the homeowners, they don't like, nobody wants to list their homes. It's so troublesome. It takes a lot of work. The agents have to open my open house for three, four, five hours. It's a lot of work. That's why the whole idea of I buyers now is picking up. Because the clients, the homeowners, they just want cash offers with no hassle, with sold as is now. And I think as the market changes, that's probably going to happen a lot more because I think we've already seen, matter of fact, somebody came to me just recently, they were looking for some money to cover a shortfall. They bought a property down near San Diego for $790,000 in November, so almost one year. They moved, they changed jobs, they came to me, they can only sell for $745,000. Mm -hmm. So what does that mean? That means that they've got to pay money into the escrow company to sell their house. Yeah. You know, not just to an agent, they've got to pay the buyer to buy their house, which is kind of crazy, and we're going to see that a lot more. Okay, this has been Julie Talks Money with Rudy Kasuma from Your Home Sold Guarantee. We're going to be coming back with him and interviewing him a third time as part of our five-part series, and that's going to happen in a couple of weeks, and we're going to be talking about VIP buyer's benefits and the focus on VIP buyers, and also what Rudy's doing to grow his business and actually have other agents who are gonna be able to grow their business as well. I hope you come back. We are here every Saturday, but you can also catch us on YouTube and on Spreaker and on Tiki Live, a lot of different digital platforms. Email me at julietalksmoney at gmail.com with any comments, questions, or concerns. Thanks for listening, and hope to see you next week. Bye-bye. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Had to get the commercial in, you know, for the next one. All right, so this is Julie Talks Money here on Saturday. We are talking about the real estate office of the future. Basically, our company, we focus on helping real estate agents to grow and develop their own real estate sales team. Yeah, it helps. This, you know, I'm just finding this really interesting because it's not only helping the buyers and the sellers, it's actually helping the agents, which nobody's really doing. I think that's huge. In fact, uh, uh, any good business, huh? you have to benefit the clients. Here at our company, Julie, mm -hmm. there are four group of people that we really focus on uh, to serve. Number one is the clients, because if it doesn't benefit the clients, nothing else matters. The second one is the team members. We're talking mm -hmm. about the, the real estate agents, right. right? The team members, because if it doesn't benefit the team members, if people are not happy, you know what's the best customer service? You have to have happy people. Right, because they're, 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 they're like your initial yes. clients, right? Yes. If you don't have happy people in your office who are like your first yes. clients that you have to serve, yes. they're not going to help serve all your other people that are yes. going to come to your Have business. you been to a restaurant and the food is good and the, and the, and the waitress looks like upset? And of course you're not going to like that, right? Mm -hmm. And the, the third group of people is the community, right? It's the community. Your business is designed for others because if your business is not doing good for the community, then you are selfish. That means your business model is taking. That's why the traditional, mm -hmm. we talk about the traditional brokerage is taking, is recruiting, right. meaning they're taking other people production. If you are not, if you're not adding values, if you are just taking any business, it's not going to last. Well, so you the know, brokers ones, want to be able to do that so they can make money off of the backs of somebody else's work, right? Yeah. Without necessarily training them, teaching them, or anything else. That's and what that's I see what, the old model is. Yes, and I think that's going to change, Julie, because the broker can no longer. The broker can no longer. In the past, the broker is just a place to hang license because the mm -hmm. law requires the agents to hang license. Right. With but you broker. cannot just do that, you know, mm -hmm. because then there is no value in the transaction. That's why now there's so many disruption because now the broker are not making money because all you do is just hang in license. That's yeah. why, in a general business principle, if you are not adding value, 
then you'll be eliminated. And the fourth group of people that we really focus on, so the first is the clients, the team members, the community, and our business partners. Mm -hmm. right? Our business partners is uh, the people that we do business with. Oh, I'm so glad you mentioned that, because I think that that is really key. That's super important. You have to have the partners, and you have to focus on them. They're going to focus on you. It's a symbiotic relationship. Right? Yep. At your home, so guaranteed realty, mm -hmm. I think last week you interviewed one of our uh, home warrant, uh, I mean, uh, lenders, mm -hmm. right? The loan officers, and then everybody that we do business with, the loan officer, the escrow, the title, the home warranty, the lawyers, everybody within our network, they have to be successful. And it's our job to make sure they're successful because if they are successful, then we all grow together. So those are the Absolutely. four group of people. So when we talk That's about what I try to do too, you know, and not necessarily with you, but some of the other people too, I believe that we have to help people and, you know, helping them be successful also includes helping them to talk about their business and what it is that they can do to help other people. Yeah. And also, if I can help them become more known, that's beneficial to them because it really matters who knows you, right? Yes. It doesn't matter who you know. Oh, that's a key. Knows, that's a key. It, that's that's a key. Uh, that's why we partner up with, with you here, mm -hmm. right? Through the power of radio, who knows you is more powerful than who you know, especially today in information age. Mm -hmm. So, Julie, uh, what's the best way? Uh, we have a lot of people. Uh, let's say my uh, everybody that I do business with, we want to make sure that they are successful. They leverage technology. They leverage radio. Mm -hmm. They leverage the digital marketing world. What's the best way to get in touch with you so they too could be on the radio? Oh, thanks for giving me that opportunity to tell everybody that they can call to 951-327-8108. 951-327-8108 or, or they can email me at julietalksmoney at gmail. Now, together we have done a digital media marketing summit. We're going to yeah. be doing another one of those in October. So they can also call your office yes. and find out a little bit more about that if they talk to new or they can email me or call me yes. because we're going to give you the tools if you want to come to this and learn how to do this and use radio or use any of the other things that digital media platforms in order to grow your business and grow your business by having more people know who you are. Yep. In okay. fact, for real estate agents, in our company, we have a special uh, exclusive uh, deals here with uh, with the radio station, uh, with Julie Talks Money Show, mm -hmm. that every real estate agent in our company, uh, they could be on the radio show. In fact, you only, uh, Julie here is uh, doing an exclusive with our Your Home Soul Guaranteed Realty that you only put real estate agents who are with your home sold guaranteed realty here at your show. And that's, that's really, really a big deal for us because now you are helping the agent in our company be more successful mm -hmm. the agent and the company both right yeah so but that's that's a very so rare we, deal yeah. and we want to make sure that every real estate agents in our company take advantage of that all right so uh today oh by the way this is josh <laughs> this is the man behind the so he produced uh, our media team produced over what over two thousand videos online on yeah. youtube so this is the man behind <laughs> behind the scenes <laughs>